What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, King Superior, a.k.a. The Delay Guy. We back with another video. Now, today, man, um, I'm going to do... I'm dropping my yearly Christmas dribble to toy. You know what I'm saying? I drop this every every year, either on Christmas or Christmas Eve, to help the Christmas noobs out. Everybody that's going to be getting 2K for their Christmas as a Christmas present. All the guys and girls that's going to be getting 2K. Um, this video is for y'all boys right here to get y'all boys right within the first week, within the first day of getting the game. Um... If you if you already sell to my channel and you watch all my dribble tutorials this year, you don't have to watch this video. This video is dedicated to the ones that are getting 2k today on Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way. And um, yeah, let's jump right into the video. Before we get in, let me show y'all my signature styles. So if you're on a let me just let me get in my six first, okay? So these are some good signature styles. These are what I have. I'm gonna show y'all what you can use if you're new to the game. So these are what I have for the dribble style. I got shifty, the signature size up, I got Derrick Rose. For the signature combo, I got Baron Davis. For this, I got normal, but y'all use use Trey Young. This is a glitch animation I have. Use Trey Young. Uh, moving behind the back, moving crossover, I got LeBron. Moving behind the back, I got Scottie Pippen. Moving spin, I got Basic. Moving hesitation, I got Rondo. Moving step back, I got Butler. And normal two for uh, triple threat. All right, so good triple styles you could use. It's quick, shifty, C gray, Steve Nash. Okay, I heard someone say Paul George. Paul George is good too. I haven't tried it, but you can try it out. But these are some good ones you can use. Signature size up, Derrick Rose. Um, Lonzo Ball is low-key kind of nice, but I don't recommend it if you're a beginner dribbler. Don't use this if you're a beginner dribbler. Don't use it at all. Use Derrick Rose. If you're on a 6-5 and higher, use Giannis Antetokounmpo. Those who are the best in the game, Derrick Rose and Giannis. Um, signature combo, I use Baron Davis. Jason Williams is also a good one. Signature size up, like I said, use Trey Young. Trey Young is a good one. Uh, moving crossover, you can use LeBron. Steph Curry is a good one. Vince Carter is a good one. And Ante Tacumpo is a good one. Moving behind the back, uh, Scottie Pippen, Damian Lillard is a good one. If you're good at dribbling, Kawhi Leonard is good. But if you're a beginner, you're new to the game, don't use that. These two are the best Scottie and Damian Lillard. If you're new to the game, these are going to be your best ones. Um, moving spin, basic is the. Um, behind the back, no, my bad. These two are the only ones. Kawhi is what I meant for the spin. So for the moving behind the back, these two, for the moving spin, you have basic and Kawhi Leonard. Right, there we go. But like I said, if you're new to the game, I don't recommend Kawhi. Basic is a good one. Uh, moving hesitation, Rondo, James Harden is a good one. Um, moving step back, Jimmy Butler, Chris Paul, these two are really, really good. Kyrie Irving is okay too, if you know how to use it. Um, triple threat, I use normal two and five. I don't have normal five on this player. But those are the good six y'all can use. Uh, without further ado, let's jump out right into the tutorial, man. Hey, quickly, make sure y'all boys hit that like button too, you know what I'm saying? It only takes like three seconds, so scroll down real quick, hit that like button, and uh, let's continue, man. All right, so we're gonna start off with something really, really simple, you know what I'm saying? And as the tutorial progress, as we get further in the video, I'm gonna show you more and more advanced stuff as you get deeper into the video, all right? So if you're a veteran of 2K, you already know how to do this move, you already know about this move, but like I said, this video is really targeted to the, the Christmas news, the guys that are now getting the game for the first time who's new to 2K, this is what this video really is for. So the first move I'm going to show you all boys is how to do the momentum cross, okay? Now there's two different ways to do the momentum cross, one of them is more effective for a specific reason, and I'm going to tell you what that reason is, but I'm just going to show you both ways to do the momentum cross in NBA 2K22, okay? So... <clears throat> If the ball is in your right hands, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're holding RT or R2, whatever console you're on, and you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left, and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left like this, right? I'm going to repeat that one more time. The ball is in your right hands. You're going to make sure you're holding RT or R2, whatever console you're on, and you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left, and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left, just like that. If the ball is in your left hands, you're gonna make sure you're holding RT, R2, whatever console you're on. You're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right. And then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. Just like that. Right? One more time. Left hand, hold RT, R2. You're gonna flick your right stick diagonally up to the right. Then push your left stick diagonally up to the right. Just like that. And you're, gonna, you're gonna get the momentum cross, right? Now, the second way to do the momentum cross on 2K22 is <clears throat> all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna flick your right stick straight upwards directly upwards 
and then you're going to push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. So for this method, you don't need to hold the right stick. You don't need to hold R2 or R2. You don't need to hold that. All you have to do is flick your right stick straight upwards and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left if the ball is in your right hand, just like that. Now if the ball is in your left hands, all you're going to do is you're going to flick your right stick straight upwards and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right, just like that. That's how you do the different momentum cross. Now the second version that I just showed you where you flick your right stick straight upwards, that method is honestly a better method because here's why, okay? If you're on a build with a low ball handling, you won't be able to momentum sometimes on that build if you do the first method that I showed you where you hold RT. Now if you want a center build that has low ball handling, you could almost always momentum on that build if you use a second method where you flick your right stick straight upwards, okay? And momentum. Now how to do the momentum spam is all you have to do is continuously chain it together, right? All you got is continuously chain it together, right? So if the ball is in your right hands, what you're going to do is you're going to flick your right stick. You're going to hold RT, R2, flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left. Then push your left stick straight upwards to the left. Once he puts the ball over to his left hand, you're going to still hold RT, RT. You're going to hold it the entire time. Once the ball goes over to your left hand, you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right. And then push your right stick diagonally upwards to the right. And then once it comes back to your right hand, you're going to do it back to the left and then back to the right and just continuously spam it up. That's how you spam the momentum cross in 2K22. You could also spam the momentum cross with the up method that I showed you. It's the same thing. You're just going to flick your right stick. You know, put, uh, flick your right stick straight upwards. Push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Once it goes to your left hand, you're going to flick your right stick straight upwards again. And then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. And then just continuously spam it. That's how you spam the momentum across in 2K22. Alright y'all, so the next one I'm going to show you boys is a very simple move. But it's a very, very effective move, okay? Now I'm going to show you what sig you need to trigger this move. Now to trigger this move, you need a signature size up. Now you could do it with different signature size up. But the best one is Derrick Rose. Now, if you want a 6'5 or taller build, the best one is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, both of them are really good. The Derrick Rose and the Giannis, I love them both. But you cannot get the Derrick Rose on builds that are 6'5 and taller. But if you're on a shorter build, you could use a Derrick Rose. If you're on a taller build that's a 6'5 and above, use Giannis. Those two are probably the best ones in my opinion. I love Giannis and the Derrick Rose is by far the best one in the game, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this move. A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people do this move. It's a very... A lot of people do it. It's a, it's, 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 it's a well-used move. You know, so a lot of people use it. Um, and I'm going to show you some stuff that you can chain with it to make it a little bit more effective, okay? <clears throat> so how to do this move is really, really simple. If the ball is in your right hands, what you're going to do is you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left and then it's turbo to the left. If the ball is in your left hands, you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right, then turbo to the right. Right? Just like that. It's really, really, really simple. See how simple that is? Now, a move that a lot of people combo with this, and I do this a lot myself too, is you're going to do this side hop. Whoa, what happened? My controller is not responding. What is happening? Alright, okay. I already knew it. I literally knew it, bro. I was about to say I'm going to get disconnected. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, I hope y'all boys don't get a, a faulty Xbox like mine. My Xbox does this all the time. I literally have to play wired every time I play the game because this happens a lot. Hopefully you didn't get a faulty Xbox for your Christmas if you did. Anyway, so <clears throat> so uh, let me show the move I was gonna show y'all. So I like to chain with this side hop right here. I like to chain the Derrico speed boost or the Giannis speed boost with this side hop right here, okay? So it's gonna look like this. are gonna side hop and then speed boost out of it. Side hop speed boost out of it now this move kills a lot of people because when you do the side hop they think that you're going in that direction if i could find some clips of me killing people with this i might put it up on screen but a lot of people fall for this move a lot especially if you switch up your dribbling a lot then you hit them with that they get stunned they go the other direction and you have a wide open shot right so how to do this move right here is basically <clears throat> if the ball is in your left hands what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold rt r2 whatever console you're on then you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right. Once you put the ball over to your right hands, you're going to release the right trigger or RT. Then you're going to flick the right stick diagonally upwards to the left. Then turbo to the left after you switch it over to your left hands. Okay, I'm going to repeat that one more time. The ball is in your left hands. You're going to hold RT, R2, whatever console you're on. You're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right. Once he puts the ball over to his right hands, you're going to release the right trigger or RT. Then you're going to flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left and then turbo to the left. So all together, it's going to look like this. Just like that, right? 
If the ball is in your right hand this time, <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold RCR2, whatever console you're on. You're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right. Once he puts the ball over to his left hand, you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally upwards to the right and then turbo to the right, okay? One more time for y'all. Right hand, the ball is in your right hand, so you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left while holding RT. Once he puts the ball over to his left hand, you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally upwards to the right and then turbo to the right. So all together should look like this. Just like that, okay? Just like that, right? <clears throat> That move is very very effective. This is gonna be probably this is probably gonna be one of the easiest moves in this tutorial, but yet most effective move in this tutorial. Okay. All right. So the next one I'm gonna show y'all boys right here. I'm gonna show you uh, what animation triggers it, then I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what triggers this move right here is the moving step back, Jimmy Butler. Now I recently started doing this about three weeks ago, and I ain't gonna lie, it's one of my favorite moves right now. It's very simple and, and catches a lot of people lacking. Um, especially a good defender to catch a good defender this you're gonna want to pull this move out when you're when you're being guarded by a good defender because I it like trust me like there's certain moves you like your dribble and they just they're just good defenders this move really stuns them a lot I'm gonna have some clips of me killing people with it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about but it looks like this also if you have a uh, shot creating takeover you could break ankles with this move like drop them on the floor on their back you could dead put them on their booty with this move right here this move is actually really deep it's gonna pause and these people off like just like that you know what i'm saying it's really good bro i love this move one of my favorite moves really really simple how to do this move is so simple all you're gonna do is flick your right stick downwards that's literally all you gotta do you're running flick your right stick straight downwards and then turbo off now jimmy butler is the best one because other animations other moving step backs they give you like two or three steps and it's slower this is just quick one quick pause and you're off you know what I'm saying? So it catches a lot of- Look, broken with no takeover! No takeover, bro. This move is really, really simple and really, really good. I love this move. Like I said, all you gotta do is just flick your right stick straight downwards while you're turboing and then keep turboing it in the same direction that you're going. Also, you could do it and then switch direction. See, just like that. You could flick it right down, then do explosive behind the back or do it, then do a curry slide. There's so many stuff you could do out of it. Look, hit him with the curry slide out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, man, this is a W move right here, bro. So, add that to your arsenal if you're new to the game. Hey, equip Jimmy Butler and go crazy, man. All right, so the next move I'm going to show y'all, boys, is the explosive behind the back, right? Now, this is a pretty, pretty simple move. Uh, I'm explain how to do it. If the ball is in your right hand, what you're going to do is you're going to hold RT, R2, whatever console you're on. Now, this move doesn't really require any specific SIGs. You can do this with almost any SIG with your styles. It might look slightly different with certain SIGs, but for the most part, most SIGs look the same with it, okay? So, um, this year. So, if the ball is in your right hand, so you're going to flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the left and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Now, like that. That is the curry side. Just like that. There you go. If the ball is in your left hands, what you're going to do is you're going to flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right, okay? I'm going to repeat that one more time. The ball is in your left hands. You're going to flick your, you're going to hold RTR2. You're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the right and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. If it's in your right hands, hold RTR2, flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the left and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left, okay? Now, later in the video, I'm going to show you so another move, another variation to this, which is actually crazier than this, but you'll, you'll see it. I'll show y'all later on in the video. All right, so the next move I'm going to show y'all, boys, is the curry slide, okay? Now, the curry slide is currently not in the game, and I immediately you know what you're thinking, so how do you have it? I'm going to explain to you, okay? So there was a curry slide gauge that was in the game. It came out in Season 1. They patched it in Season 2. Most people said they patched it. I'm not sure about the patch. The only reason I'm saying this is because a lot of people say that. One of my subscribers recently, like two, three days ago, like two, three days ago, he said he did a curry slide glitch and he got the curry slide on his player. I cannot confirm that, but if you guys want to try, you could go ahead and try. I've made a curry slide glitch video already. If you want to find the curry slide glitch video, just type in King Superior curry slide glitch and you should find it, okay? It's on my channel. And you should find it very simple. If you want to try it, you can go ahead and try it. I'm not sure if it's patched. Some people say it is. Some people said it, it isn't. So I don't know. It's up to you if you want to go try it and see if it's patched, okay? But how to do the curry slide? It's really simple. If the ball is in your left hand, you're going to hold RT, R2, whatever console you're on. And you're going to flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right, just like that. 
so the ball is in your right hands you can hold RT R2 whatever console you're on and you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the left just like that that's how you do the curve slide really really simple it's similar to last year but last year you had to pull your left stick I mean your right stick diagonally down away from the ball you can't do that this year otherwise your player is gonna do this he's gonna shoot the ball so <clears throat> You're just gonna hold the right trigger and flick your right stick diagonally downwards away from the ball hand and you should get the curry slide okay really really simple y'all could go try the curry slide glitch and let me know if it works for you the curry slide might come out next season anyways if y'all are getting your xbox or your playstation for christmas the curry slide might come out next season which is going to be january so might as well just learn how to do the curse slide because it might come out. It might come out then. Alright, y'all. So the next one I'm gonna show y'all boys is the between the like spam. And the between the like spam looks like this, okay? Like that, right? Now to do the the uh, the between the like spam, it's very, very similar to the momentum spam. Um this move is gonna look different depending on what signature styles you have on, okay? It doesn't matter what six you have on, but it's gonna look different depending on what six you got on your player, right? Now, to do this move is very simple. Let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold RT, R2, whatever console you're on, and you're gonna flick your right stick to the to the left, and then you're gonna push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left. You should get that animation right there, okay? Once the ball goes over to your left hands, you're gonna make sure you're holding RT, R2 throughout this entire animation. You're not gonna release the right trigger. You're gonna be holding the right trigger the whole time. So once the ball goes over to your left hand, you're gonna flick your right stick to the right and then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. You should get that. No, you shouldn't get that. You should get this. Bro, you should get this. There you go. <laughs> I messed that up. Anyway, so yeah, once the ball comes back over to your right hands, you're gonna flick your right stick to the left and then you're gonna push your left stick back up to the left, back over to the right, left, to the right, to the left, and then you just speed it up together and then you're gonna get the. Uh, the between the leg spam that's basically what you're doing up the court i'm just doing it slow so you can get a concept of what it is that's what it is right there and once you start to do it faster you're gonna get the between the leg spam right that's basically what it, what it is that's that's me doing it slow for y'all once you put it fast together you're gonna get what i just showed y'all right so that's how you do the between the leg spam on 2k22 All right, so this next move that I'm gonna show y'all, boys. This move is triggered by the size of escape. Okay, whatever size of escape you have on your player, it's gonna look different. Okay, now I currently have the curry one on my player. It says normal because, like I said in the video, I glitched the curry side onto my player. But in my opinion, I think the Trey Young one is the best. Like in my opinion, by far the Trey Young one is the best one for this move right here. But you could do it with whatever one you have equipped. Uh, most of them. Right most of them are really not as good the Trae Young one is really good the curry side one is decent i'm gonna show you what it looks like though i'm um, so gonna start my personal workout real quick and i'm gonna show y'all boys how to do this move okay it's really really simple so let's say the ball is in your right hands what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold rt r2 whatever console you're on come on load me into the court bruh okay so if the ball is in your right hands you're gonna hold rt r2 whatever console you're on and you're basically gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left and then flick it diagonally upwards to the left again so basically you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the left twice okay and you should get that move you're gonna get this move right here and then he's gonna bounce it again after so it's gonna one two just like that right so you're gonna get the double hezzy left right right this is the double hezzy left right um if the ball is in your left hand you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right twice one two boom boom i messed that up let me redo it just like that okay now you could go left, right, left, right, left, right, read it, okay? So it's gonna look like this. One, two, 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 just like that, okay? Now, like I said, the Trae Young one looks way, way better than this. The Trae Young one is way more effective than the Curry one. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Now, another way to do this, it, I don't know, it might be harder for some people, but it's way, way, way more consistent this way, okay? Because sometimes, let me see if I can mess it up. If you double if you flick it diagonally upwards left or right sometimes it gives you that move see i literally just did it twice and sometimes it will give you that sometimes see it'll give you that sometimes i just clipped something on accident okay so a more consistent way to do it for you to trigger every single time is what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna hold rt r2 whatever console you're on and you're gonna let's say the buzz in your right hands you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right and then flick it directly to the right so 
diagonally upwards, then directly to the right, okay? If the ball is in your left hand, you're gonna make sure you hold RT, R2, and you're holding RT, R2 the whole time. You're gonna flick your right stick diagonally upwards to the right, then directly to the, light, to the right, boom, boom. So it's diagonal up, then directly to the left or right, okay? Up, diagonal up, directly. And all together, you just spam it up like that. Now the first method that I showed you where you flick it diagonally upwards twice, you, you, you're gonna wanna be a little patient with that one. If you try to rush that one, that's when you're gonna get like the um like that. That's when you're gonna get that if you try to do that one too fast sometimes. So you wanna be a little bit more patient with this with the first one that I showed, which is why I just prefer the second one altogether, because you don't have to worry about nothing. You can just like spam it. Alright, so that's how you do the the let the Bro, why am I stuttering so much, bro? This is how you do the double hezzy left right. The the left right double. Bro, bro, yes. The, the bro, I'm stuttering, bro. What is wrong with me? Let me calm down. Take a deep breath. That's how you do the double hezzy left right. There we go. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm stuttering for no reason, bro. All right. So the next move I'm gonna show y'all, boys, is the momentum snatch. Now this move right here, you don't need any specific signature styles to do this move. It's really, really simple. Okay, so to do this move, you could do it two ways, but I'm just gonna show you one way because there's no point, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so if the ball is in your right hands, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick your right stick directly to the right and then pull your left stick straight downwards. You're gonna get that, okay? That right there, hold on. That right there is the momentum drag, okay? The momentum snatch or the momentum drag snatch, whatever you wanna call it, right? So if the ball is in your left hands, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold RT, R2. You're gonna flick your right stick to the right and then you're gonna pull your left stick straight downwards not like that but put it, it's gonna look like that okay repeat that one more time the ball is in your left hands you're gonna hold rt r2 whatever console you're on you're gonna flick your right stick to the right and then pull your left stick straight downwards boom just like that the ball is in your right hands you flick that right stick to the left and then pull your left stick straight downwards so basically you're gonna be flicking your right stick away from the ball hand and pulling the left stick straight downwards right and you can spam it just like that like i was doing it pretty pretty simple this move is if, let me see if i get them to clamp me up a little bit that's if they clamping you up you just do that and get some space and reset because it's going to be times when you're dribbling and it's all upon you and you know the attach and let me see if i can get them to attach on me again bro like it's going to be times when it's like that just like that when they draw you in when it's when when it's kind of like they magnet you you get magneted you get sucked onto the defender bro like they just pull you onto the defender that's when you want to do that move let me see get me stuck on again and you just stop and well, i did you just stop it and just hit that move right there and just recreate space and start over your dribble again because i'm telling you it's gonna be times when they just suck you onto the defender bro and you need space so you hit them with that and what's crazy is you could break ankles with this too. they're really close when you're doing this you could actually break ankles and stun them so if you have tight handles you could get a lot of stuns with it if you got like all uh, your shot grid and take over on when you're doing this you could actually get ankle breakers from this move so this move is pretty good stuns people a lot also you can speed boost off of this move too let me just do it right here and show you just like that so you can speed boost off of this move bro i messed that up right there oh my gosh why is it give me the animation is it after the patch did they patch this or up yo i think they patched the speed boost off of it oh i think they did oh they didn't okay so you can't do it immediately anymore okay so you can still speed boost off this move but you have to wait like a second and then speed boost just like that there we go okay there we go okay i thought they patched it bro they just made it okay you just have to wait a little bit now okay so it's still you can still speed boost off of it it's like that you just gotta wait till the animation fully plays out once the ball comes back to your backhand that's when you speed boost off before the patch you could you could actually start running before and you just still let you speed boost as soon as the animation is done okay so you just want to be patient with this speed boost okay so yeah you can do this move and speed boost out of it so this move right here bro nice move right here to get you some space bonus speed boost up out of it and there you go man the momentum drag all right y'all so the next one i'm going to show y'all boys is how to do the pro hop the pro two hop whatever you want to call it so in 2k20 how to do this move you would tap the shooting button and you would pull the left stick diagonally away from the ball hand in 2k22 what you're going to want to do is you're going to hold rt and then you're going to pull the right stick diagonally away from the ball hand but you're going to 
release it right before he shoots. You don't want to hold it too long or is it going to shoot the ball? So it's going to look like this. It's like that. You're going to pull it and you're going to release it before your player shoots the ball. Now you have to hold the right trigger. If you don't hold the right trigger, he's going to do this. He's going to pump fake and then you're going to have to shoot. Okay? So make sure you're holding the right trigger for this. In previous years, you didn't have to hold the right trigger, but this year you have to. So make sure you're holding the right trigger. It's going to pull your right stick diagonally away from the ball hand and release it in time so he doesn't shoot. Otherwise, he's going to, if you see, if you hold it too long, he's going to do that. He's just going to go straight up for the shot. So make sure you release it in time. It's that simple. It's honestly that simple. Um, you can use whatever pro hop you want. It's called the hop jumper. Pro 2 is the best one for dribbling. Uh, Steph Curry gives you a lot of ankle breakers. There's other one that gives you ankle breakers as well. You could use whatever one you want, but that's just how you do it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do that move right there. A little tip I like to do with this is I like to put my shot meter on for shooting only. So whenever I do that, people think I'm actually going to shoot and then they jump. So to put that setting on, um, <clears throat> not coaching, it's in controller settings, I think. Oh, where's controller settings? Settings. Where is controller settings? Oh, there we go. So it's in control settings and then you're going to put your shot meter to, where is it? To pro stick only, okay? So when you're shooting X, it's not, your shot meter is not going to appear. Your shot meter is only going to appear when you use your, when you use the right stick to shoot. So whenever you're doing that hop shot, that hop, that pro hop fake, your shot meter is going to pop up and then the defender, the defender is going to think that you're going to shoot and then you get an easy wide open three because you'll speed boost out the way and then shoot. I use that trick a lot. I put the shot meter on and then I do that move. They think I'm going to shoot. They jump and then I'm wide open for a shot. So that's a little trick you could add in there uh, for it to be a little more effective if you want. All right, y'all. So this next move I'm going to show y'all boys right here. You need a specific moving behind the back to do this. And the moving behind the back that you need is the Damien Lillard moving behind the back. Now, if you play 2K20, y'all know the explosive behind the back from 2K20 and the explosive behind the back in 2K21 and 22 is two completely different things. The explosive behind the back in 2K20 was by far the most devious explosive behind the back we have had in any 2K. The 2K20 behind the back is crazy before the patch. Like if you played 2K21 in the early days, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you didn't play it in the early days, then you're not going to know because they had to nerf that move. That's how crazy it was. Luckily in NBA 2K22, you can do the 2K20 explosive behind the back, but there's a specific way to trigger it, okay? So to trigger the explosive behind the back this year, you can only take one dribble to trigger it. So if let's say I dribble to the left and then I try to do the explosive behind the back, I'm going to get a slower generic one from 2K21 and the one from 2K22. Look, I'm doing it. Hold on. I get the slow generic one, all right? Now look at this. <clears throat> I'm about to trigger the 2K20 real quick. Just like that. See? See the difference? Look at that. See? Like, look how, like, it's, you can literally see the difference. Let me do it on this side real quick. Just like that. See? So, to trigger the explosive behind the back, this one, the 2K20 version of it, like I said, you need to take one dribble and then do the explosive behind the back. I showed y'all boys how to do the explosive behind the back early in the video, so it's literally the same thing. You take one dribble to whichever direction then you, that you're doing, then you trigger the explosive behind the back. So if you're going to the left, you're going to take one dribble, make sure you're holding RTR2, you're going to flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right, then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the right. The ball is, if you're going to the right, you're going to flick your, make sure you're holding RTR2, you're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the left, then push your left stick diagonally upwards to the left, okay? Like I said, you can only take one dribble and then do it. So basically what you're doing is you're triggering the ISO behind the back. Now the ISO behind the back, the moving behind the back, it only triggers, if you're doing it in a moving motion, it only triggers if you take one step. Like if you want to like do a misdirection with it, it only triggers off one step. If you do two or more steps, you're going to get the slow one. So for you to get the ISO behind the back, you have to take one step, one dribble I mean, and then trigger the the ISO behind the back. So that's basically what it is. A lot of people didn't like the Damien Lillard right after the patch, but a lot of people don't even know you could do this with this move, okay? So yeah, that's how you do the 2K20. Explosive behind the back, 2K22. All right, so this next move I'm gonna show y'all boys is, is the spin back on 2K22. Now this move right here, if you're a play shot, you're gonna wanna use this move because most likely you don't have any insights. If you go drive inside, you're gonna get packed up almost every time. So let's see on a fast break, right? Or yes, a fast break or a semi-fast break and you're in front of the pack. They're behind you. They're trailing close enough. Don't try to go in. You're going to want to trigger this move. So if they're trailing you, you're going to hit him with this. This move right here. 
and then shoot i missed on that it's gonna miss oh i still made it but anyways you're gonna want to hit him with that move if you're trailing this move works the best like if you're on a fast pick and you're in the lead if they're right behind you you hit them with this they're gonna be flying into the paint because you're most likely gonna think you're gonna go inside right so or also if you're a slasher as well and they're backing up a lot from you like they're trying to sit paint on you because they think that you're just gonna drive the whole time you would do this move because once we, once you get around here this is where you trigger it right and once you get around there they're not gonna expect you to spin back they're gonna be sitting in the paint expecting you to come straight in the paint so that's when you trigger this move i love it when i'm using my slashing playmaker i use this move a lot because the people a lot of people sit paint on me and think i can't shoot so i'll just run in hit him with that and then i'm wide open for the shot bro that was a little slow you could do it faster than that but you get the point so to do this move it's really simple i said the ball is in your right hand you're driving what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right and then you're gonna rotate your right stick directly up to the top from the bottom okay from the bottom up to the top in a clockwise motion if the ball is in your right hands okay so i'm gonna repeat that one more time the ball is in your right hands and you can hold the right trigger the whole time doing this okay there's other variations, but just to make it life seem easier on yourself, just hold the right trigger the whole time, right? So you're driving in, the ball is in your right hand. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally, diagonally downwards to the left. Once you put the ball over to your left hand, you're gonna rotate your right stick from the bottom to the top in a clockwise motion, which means you're gonna start from the bottom and you're gonna rotate it up to the top, going over up to the right, okay? I'll have the controls on screen so you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it, okay? So boom, boom hit the shot okay now once you do this move once you run out you're gonna tap your left trigger to do the uh to do a quick stop and then shoot there's different quick stops and this is one of them when you're doing the, the spin back you always want to do the lt quick stop okay you do the lt quick stop and then shoot if you don't do the lt quick stop sometimes your player is gonna do a fade and it's just gonna work out bad for you you're gonna have to wait mad long to set his feet so as soon as you do the spin back just tap lt set your feet and then shoot now if the ball is in your left hand you're driving in you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally downwards to the right. Then you're gonna rotate the right stick from the bottom to the top in a counterclockwise motion. So boom, boom, just like that. Hit LT, stop, shoot. Okay? And I miss. I'm gonna do it one more time. And I'm gonna shoot immediately this time. So we go to balls in your left hands. Boom, boom, LT, shoot. Just like that, bro. Just like that. The ball is in your left hands. Diagonally down to the right. Rotate your right stick from the bottom to the top in a counter clockwise motion and that is how you do the basic one spin back in nba 2k 22 all right y'all hopefully that video did help y'all boys out if they go ahead hit that like button you know what i'm saying um if this is your first 2k or you're new to nba 2k 22 this video is gonna get you right bro you know what i'm saying you implement all these moves right here you're gonna be good to go on day one bro you're gonna be good you're gonna be competing with the top guys off rip that is obviously other new stuff and better stuff you can learn as you progress and get better at the game but this is a very good video to get you get you started it's a good stepping stone video I can say this video did help you out hit that like button subscribe if you're new i got a lot of dribble tutorials if y'all want to check out dribble stuff i got a playlist in the description it's called nba 2k 22 tutorial tutorials and tips or tips and tutorials you can check it out i'll catch y'all boys later my name is king superior once again and i'll holler at y'all boys later man peace